Okay, so I'm sorry if you can hear a little flashing noise. My car is like parked somewhere I'm not supposed to be parking. I'm just like picking up a friend. So I was like, might as well update you guys. So I have been outside in the sun for the entire day, just reading. I just like sat down in the sun, started tanning and like read, like literally flew through the Atlas X. I still have about like a hundred pages left, but where do we even begin? I'm so confused. Like, yeah, I know what's going on, but I feel like I'm so lost. Nothing really makes sense. Um, you're like discovering things at the same time as the characters and how it's written. It kind of like the timing, like timeline wise, you really have to be paying attention to like follow with the timeline. Cause if you like, if you're not focused for like maybe five seconds, you're like, wait a minute, what's going on? But it's, it's so good. It's so good. Like it's really giving secret history, but more like much more magic kind of like kind of like mixed secret history i'm sorry if you can hear people outside there's like a little corporate event um obviously it happens the day when i'm planning to film in my car but yeah it's like basically it makes the magic i guess element of ninth house with the secret history that is what you get here and we j like i just read a part where it's like oh my god it's like so manipulative and so planned and you get to a part where it's like i'm really trying not to give anything away but you find out a little like secret about the Alexandrian society and you see how people like use the it's just it's just it's just I'm like I'm reading it and I'm like how did all of you play like how does someone just sit down and like think this way like that blows my mind it's so good again 100 pages left I'm probably gonna finish it when I get home because I am seeing my friend tonight like I know that everyone says you're supposed to be super confused during the book but then at the end everything pieces together and it makes sense so i'm waiting for that part and i'm like is it gonna make me want to like cancel doing this video and just like go read the rest of the series like for all we know this video can turn into a reading the atlas 6 series but yeah super good vibes super excited to see where it goes and it's like i can't even make predictions on what i think is gonna happen because i genuinely have no idea but good vibes <laughs> Initially, I wasn't planning on giving you guys updates now. I'm literally mind blown. I'm so confused with what I just read. You're led to believe one thing the entire book, then turns out... So, I'm like, what's going on? I have like 20 pages left, but it's past 2 a.m. I'm absolutely exhausted. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna give a little update tonight and then I'm gonna finish the book tomorrow. If you read the book, I've gotten to the part where I'm trying to not give any any spoilers. When they go from the six of them to five, but well, then there was a little like reveal later on. That's all I'm gonna say because I really do not want to spoil this for you. But honestly, I loved it. Like even though at the beginning I wasn't like super sure how I was feeling about it, I just, I fell in love with it and I was like, it's not giving five star, but it's giving 4.5. Like, I definitely see why people love this, even though you're so confused, you don't know exactly what is going on. It's just, it's so good. Like, if you love The Secret History, if you love Ninth House like me, you're gonna love this book. I do not know how this is gonna end. I literally have, like, basically, like, one more person's point of view and the end chapter. Hopefully, we might get some clarity, because what the hell was that? Just wanted to hop on quick quick to give you my updates for uh, let me put my phone down yes for dance of thieves so i was outside reading this stuff the entire day i just came in did a little workout so I'm a little bit like out of breath still um but i got i'm like 115 pages in and so far i'm liking this so much more than the first book of the remnant chronicles i want to say it's kiss of deception timeline wise i can't really tell where this is but i feel like this series like does take place after the remnant chronicles okay no no it 100 percent takes place after because there are some people who you see over here who are talks about here who are like really young in the other books so i'm like 100 percent sure this takes place after that series Just had to pause for a quick water break i'm liking it so far like it's 
kind of like it's the same like advent i mean obviously it's a fantasy so it's the, like adventure type vibe i'm pretty sure the guy main character is like a prince who's like becoming king because his dad like just passed away and our female male oh my god female main character is kazzy who was in the other books well in the other like series she's a thief she goes to that guy's kingdom and they end up like running into each other in the street they get ambushed next thing you know they're captured and they're like cuffed together they were able to escape and they uncuff their hands but they're still like stuck together with like cuffs on their feet and they're trying to survive trying to like get help and to uncuff themselves stuff like that like that's where i'm at right now i feel like plot wise nothing really happened but it's not slow like i guess progression of the story wise it is kind of slow but unlike the remnant chronicles i'm not feeling like i'm waiting for something to happen you know like i actually i'm actually really liking the pacing we're gonna see what happens because i'm just like five percent uh 25 percent 20 per oh my god 20 percent through the book i'm gonna go take a little shower right now because i'm actually dying i'm so hot because i was like i just i just came in with like my sunscreen sweaty self and I, I was like before you take a shower just like you do your workout i'm gonna take my shower i feel like kind of icky and gross and i'm gonna read this i feel like i can probably get to page 120 no it's, i'm sorry 250 tonight what is wrong oh oh okay okay because i was like i was like looking at the map over here trying to find the places and i was like where are these places they're over here okay <laughs> um yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to get to page 250 by tonight. I think the book is like exactly 300 pages. Uh, so, I'm sorry, 500 pages. Yeah, it's 505 pages. So I can probably get halfway through today. Finish this book tomorrow because I don't really have much going on during the day tomorrow. I do want to film videos and I have my friend's graduation dinner. Pretty sure I could finish this tomorrow. So I'm super proud of myself. Like I'm actually, I, I'm on top of my reading. So yeah, shower time gonna gonna clean myself because i feel absolutely disgusting and then we'll see what hap oh and then we'll see what happens in dance of thieves it's update time so i'm currently at page 320 in dance of thieves i'm not sure how, how i'm feeling about it at some point i was reading it i felt kind of like bored and i was like nothing is happening but now things started to happen so i'm more invested but since i was like recently kind of bored not as invested as i would like to be but i feel like it does have potential like we're learning things and i feel like learning those things make it more interesting i feel like it's finally starting to kick off and this is just what i needed to like be like interested in reading because honestly it just like dragged on a lot and like i wasn't gonna dnf but i turned to the audiobook because i was like i cannot read this let me just audio it but now i go back to reading and it's better vibes so i have less than 200 pages left i can definitely finish this tomorrow and we will see what the vibes are like i feel like this is gonna give me between 3.5 and 4 stars so yeah we'll see we have officially finished dance of thieves okay so honestly the last part of this book i liked it so much better like once there was like the big conflict and then we kind of saw the characters from the Remnant Chronicles series. I liked that. Like the whole kind of like reveal with like um, Cassie's, like what happened with Cassie's parents or well, Cassie's mom and being like, oh, like is her mom still alive? And the connection with the worker at Jace's, like that connection, I really liked that. I really, really liked that. And I feel like that kind of changed the story for me. How this book ended, plot twist, no one's point of view. You're like, okay, there's this character. This is what was going on. This person needs help. But what exactly is going on, we don't know. So I really liked that ending. Even though I wasn't like super, super like invested in this entire story. I kind of like got into it after like the big reveal and stuff like that. And then this plot twist, like not exactly plot twist, but this like 
very like cliffhanger cliffhanger ending i did like that like i was gonna read this book three stars but i'm feeling like it's a little higher than that i'm still like undecided between if i want it to be 3.25 or 3.5 for now i'm getting 3.25 energy i'll see if i change my mind if i change my mind i'll let you guys know but yeah so this is done book number two is done we had a five star read we had a 3.25 star read where will the other two be i feel like that i feel like zodiac academy well, the second book of Zodiac Academy, I rated the first book four stars. I think either four or 4.25. Like, I know it wasn't to 4.5, but it was between four and 4.5. I feel like book two is going to be in the same realm. For Cruel Prince, I really don't know. It can go either way because I know people love this series, but then also people say that the first book is really not the best and you have to, like, power through. So I really don't know where this is going to go. What do I want to read next? I feel like I'm craving a little bit of toxicity. I've been reading like fantasy. And yes, Zodiac Academy is fantasy. But there's a little like talk. Like it's, it's that toxicity that I feel like I'm kind of craving right now. So I feel like we're going to read Zodiac Academy next. And then The Cruel Prince. Um, I actually did a home, like at home workout. That's why I'm in my like sports thing. I put a hair mask in my hair. So I'm going to go wash that off shower figure out what i'm gonna do for dinner and then we can move on to zodiac academy ruthless Bay. so we have read exactly 90 pages of zodiac academy ruthless Bay, and this starts off where the first book ended and you just get right into it like you're it's just oh it's like i miss this it's just the world that i miss the characters just the vibes that i miss it made me realize how good zodiac academy was it's like a different love than my cute romance is a different love than my favorite books which is the secret history or like um ninth house it's not like cutesy like the romance it's not like profound or like elitist like those books it's just it's 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 just good it's just so good this is like a nine book series i generally have no idea where this is gonna go it's just vibes and i'm here for it that's all that matters i'm here for the vibes and i'm loving the vibes completely honest with you guys like it's been a few days since i've read ruthless Bay. um i okay I, I i i have a good reason so um i live in montreal and that's where we have the canadian grand prix it was grand prix weekend so obviously i'm going out it's like there's the cars it's like the whole like racing f1 vibe i don't know what i was doing i was going through my books and i was like oh my god i have collided do i just read collided because F1 weekend, might as well read Collided. And I'm so happy I read it. Because I, like, I finished it today. Like, we're Monday. We're, like, right after F1 weekend. Literally five star read. Five star read. Love it. So good. But I'm currently at page 230 from Zodiac Academy, Ruthless Bay. And I like how in this book, we kind of see the point of view of the guys. Like, I don't know if I mentioned that in my last updates. But we do see their point of view and I really like that. Like I mean obviously this is the second book in the series so you know the world, you know the characters, you know the dynamics. We're seeing like change in dynamics, we're seeing just like more in depth into the world and more into the like issue that um, the nymphs. Yeah, the nymphs. I feel like everything is like pretty well paced and it's like you like I've, I've never felt bored. I feel like I sometimes like the story isn't super fast but it's not like super slow. But it doesn't feel like it just it just doesn't feel like you're reading that's one thing that i really noticed about the first book you don't feel like you're reading because it's so good it's so engaging the guys are such assholes <laughs> that you're just so like immersed in it this series it's like it's like literally like no thoughts just vibes like you don't have to think about anything it's not this like soon worthy romance. Obviously, I'm sure there's gonna be like an actual romance component. I don't know with who. I have my suspicions. I don't wanna look it up because I don't wanna spoil it for myself. Ooh, also, can we talk about like Orion and Darius's like little situation? I 
find that so interesting. Definitely a guilty pleasure read, but it's it's just it hits the spot for everything. But okay, basically kind of going back to the more like important things. Um, it is Monday, so I know I wanted to do this video over the course of a week. Um, obviously <laughs> the week has passed. I am still undecided if I want to finish this and then just end the video here or if I want to actually read The Cruel Friends. It depends. I don't know because I'm at page 230 and this is like over 500 pages. So I feel like this is not even halfway done. Okay, now I feel like I'm going to end the video after reading this book and then The Cruel Prince, we can read it for something else. I don't think I'm going to finish it tomorrow because tomorrow I actually have my midterm for my summer class and then I... I'm seeing a friend, but I have a couple of things to do between those two. So obviously I'm not gonna finish this tomorrow. I can probably finish this Wednesday. Zodiac Academy, Ruthless Fae, loving it so far. I actually like just ordered books three and four. Um, when am I gonna read them? Literally, I have no idea because as I said, I'm reading like 10,000 books for reading vlogs, but I have them. That's how much I'm invested <laughs> in this book. I've been out for most of the day today. So I was mainly like audio booking. Um, Ruthless Faye. We're seeing all the players like we like obviously we knew um the heirs parents like Caleb, Max, Seth, and Darius's parents were like important people. Now like Darius tells Tori that his parents like want to invite her and Darcy to their estate's house thing for like a party and evening a like soiree. Now the girls are over there and they meet all the heirs parents. They they just like see more of like the world, what's like going on and things like that. And I really like, like one thing that I like about this book is that the progression, it just, it just makes sense. Like timing, it makes sense. Everything, it just, it just, it just makes sense, right? Like there's no complaints that I have for this book at all. Like I don't want to say too much here because it is like the second book of the series. So I don't want to go into like a lot of details, but we kind of see possible little sparks of a potential romance. So I really like that. What I like is that there's no expectations. There's no like assumptions because you genuinely cannot tell where it goes. Like you're basically in the same mindset as the girls. Like there's no final place you want to get. It's just like surviving. And I like how in the dark we are. So really, really enjoying this. I, yeah, I'm probably gonna be able to finish this book by 10, like before going to bed. It's currently 8.50. I think on the audiobook I have like maybe under two hours left. So we're going to finish it tonight. I have a bit of cleaning to do in my room. So I'm probably going to like pop the audiobook back on and then read the last part before going to bed and hopefully give you guys an update before going to bed. So in this last part of the book, a huge twist, absolutely huge twist. One, I love how the girls like finally got back at the heirs for just like being like assholes since day one. But also we really got to see like more into the battle with the nymphs. And I really like that because I feel like the first book and the beginning of this book, it was like, oh, like they're there, but you like, yeah, they're dangerous. And you know that they're dangerous from like the brief thing that you saw, but there wasn't a like concrete battle or like you know like that's the thing with them but this book finishes with like a huge battle after a what i would describe as a quidditch but like zonic academy style game i feel like the series is really starting to kick off like obviously there's nine books so you can't like directly go into a battle and stuff like that but i rated this 4.25 stars and i feel like the series is just gonna get better like book one i rated I think 4, 4.25 also, this 4.25. And yeah, it is gonna get better as it goes on. I currently have book three and book four. Once again, nine books. So I do not know if I'd be able to finish this by the end of 2024 because I do want to read other things, but we'll see. Cause this series, it's like a year can pass between reading the books and I'm still invested. I still, I like, I still get sucked in like that. But yeah, that's the last book that we're reading for today. So I hope you guys really enjoyed. The video if you did leave a thumbs up and subscribe so you're you know notified every single time that i post um all my socials are linked down below if you want to go check me out my tiktok instagram goodreads i do post a lot of what i'm like currently reading all my insta stories so if you're curious you don't want to wait until my monthly wrap-ups definitely go follow me over there and yeah that's pretty much it for me today um i forget if i mentioned this in the intro but 
if there's any like reading vlog theme video that you guys want to see definitely leave it in the comment section down below i did a reading five star predictions video that came out a couple of weeks ago there's this one i want to do tbr veterans i like going in with themes because i feel like it's kind of like i'm not just like picking up like a mood read like not that it's a bad thing with mood reads but i feel like having the theme it's more interesting i don't know that's my personal little thing but yeah once again i hope you guys really enjoyed today's video stay s <coughs> oh my god i'm so sorry um stay safe protect your vibe and i'll see y'all next time bye guys